it's Teacher Carrie here, and I'm back with another Minicam tutorial. Today, I want to show you some advanced techniques with effects in Minicam. So if you haven't watched my video called All About Effects, be sure to check it out in the info card or follow the link in the description before watching this video. But if you have watched it, you are ready to jump in, so let's get started. And no, this video has not been sponsored by Minicam, so hashtag not sponsored. Let me take you on a quick, on a quick tour of my Minicam tutorial screen for today. Down below me here, these are my video presets, and off to the right hand side, this is my main Minicam menu. Now I'm going to make the distinction in this video between video presets and effects presets. So I'll try to explain it carefully enough that you should be able to follow, but of course let me know down in the comments below if you have any questions. Now, like I said, I'm going to be sharing with you some advanced techniques for using effects in Minicam, but don't be scared. This is really, really easy. <laughs> I use the term advanced because they're things that you might not do all the time, but that doesn't make them any more difficult than using effects as you normally would in Minicam. So I was doing my lesson prep for tomorrow, and I have a lesson all about addition. And one of the problems is adding I think it's five apples plus three oranges. So I'm actually going to want to find and group together my five apples and my three oranges so that I can bring them up quickly and easily as I am teaching tomorrow. So of course the first thing I want to do is just go to my effects widget in Minicam and I'm going to start looking for an apple that I can use with my math problem. Now you can see here I already have a group of seven apples, but that won't work for me. I need specifically five. So I'm just gonna tap on this little apple here. And as you can see, that brings up my one apple on my screen and added one apple to my selected effects. But if I click that again, instead of getting more apples, it actually takes that one apple away. So I need something in order to add the same effect over and over on my screen. And to do that, it's very simple. What you want to do is just click the control button, hold down the control button on your computer keyboard as you tap on whatever effect that you want to bring up multiple times. So for this apple here, I'm going to hold down control and I'm going to click on my apple five times. So let's do that. One, two, three, four, five. Now, even though it looks right here, like I have five large apples sort of blocking my face, <laughs> if I look at my selected effects here, I do have five individual apples. They're just stacked up together. So if you take your mouse and click on them, you can drag them apart from each other and resize them. I'm going to make my apples smaller so they're not blocking my face anymore. <laughs> Now I have five apples on my screen, but like I said, in my particular case for tomorrow, I'm going to need to also add three oranges to this screen. So I think I will make them even smaller and try to put them off to the side here so that when I add my oranges, I have my apples and oranges grouped separately. And I think that should work fairly well. And now I don't want to have to spend time breaking them apart and resizing them in class tomorrow. I just want them to stay in this little group of five. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do is create a preset group in my effects here, in my effects widget on Minicam. Now, like I said, I'm gonna to try to make the distinction between video presets and effects presets. And you'll see why here in a second. So in order to get these five apples to always come up as this group of five apples in this position on my screen, all I need to do is is click this little icon right here. And I'm actually gonna transition you over to um, another slide as I do this, or another video preset as I do this, so that you can see the button that I'm pressing, but it's very simple. So you just wanna click this little icon here, and the first option is save as preset. Once you click into that, it's gonna bring you up a little box just so that you can type the name of what you want to add, save this little group of effects as. And for me, it's I'm just going to write the number five and apples. And then hit create. And now you can see I still have five individual apples here on my screen, but I don't need them in their individualness anymore. So what I'm going to do is just temporarily delete these apples. I'm not deleting them from my folders view here in Minicam. And you can see it has added 
five apples here. So if I tap on my five apples in my folders view of my effects, there is my group of five apples. Now I can hide those. Now let's say that you couldn't see them here. You could also just go back to your search bar up at the top, type five, and then there again is my five apples. So now let's do the same thing, but this time I need three oranges. So I'm going to search for an orange. Ew, not a rotten orange, just a regular orange will do. <laughs> Here's the one, I'm going to resize it. And again, I'm going to hold down control on my computer keyboard and tap two more times to bring up three oranges. And since my apples were kind of in a little L shape off to this side, I think I'll put my oranges in a little L shape off to the other side. Just resize them. I'll make them sort of similar in size, although they don't have to be perfect. Now again, I want to save them as a group together so that they always come up here as this group of three oranges. So again, to do that, I'm just going to go over to the top, click this button, and select Save as Preset. There are some other options here. It says Show or Hide All Effects or Remove All Effects from List. I don't want those. I just want to save my three oranges together as a preset, an effects preset. <laughs> it's bringing me up my little box, and I think you probably can't see that on the screen, but all I'm doing is typing three oranges and hitting Create. And then again, I can temporarily delete these individual oranges and bring up my three oranges as a group. And then I can just double check that my apples and oranges both look good and hide them in my preset, my video preset, so that I can use them tomorrow during my lesson. So if you ever need to show more than one of the same effect on your screen, again, you're just going to click the or hold down the control button on your computer keyboard while you are tapping on whatever effect you need. And then if you want to save them as a group so that they always come up together, you just need to click this little icon in your selected effects menu and save them as a preset. So let's see some more fun things that you can do with that technique. One of my favorite ways to use it is to use it with weather. So I have built myself a little weather screen. I'm also teaching an interactive level one student tomorrow for VIP Kid, and it's all about the weather. So when I want it to be raining in the classroom, <laughs> all I did was go on Google and find a PNG or a sticker GIF for rain. I think it was actually a sticker GIF. So if you just go to a Google search, I'm going to search in rain sticker GIF. Now, sticker GIF acts kind of like a PNG in that it shouldn't have a background attached to it. And GIF, of course, is a moving image rather than a static image. So you can just go and search for rain. This one is sort of cute. And of course, we can just drag that onto our computer desktop. And it's a little small there, but you can get the idea. And then you could right click into it if you want to. And then all the way down at the bottom, let me move myself out of the way, all the way down at the bottom, we have an option for rename. Let me make this larger, this menu that brings up when you right click on one of these little things on your computer desktop is so long. Okay, all the way down at the bottom, rename, and I could just name that as rain. And then when I brought it into Minicam, I just used the same steps of searching for rain in my Minicam effects menu. There's one rain. I just held down my control button to get several rains all together and moved them across my screen so that it looks like it's raining in my classroom. And then I had saved it as a preset like I showed doing earlier with those apples and oranges. So now I have this sort of same idea used for rain. I have one for snowing. I have one for windy weather. So that same idea of just making more than one of the same effect on your screen and then saving them as a group can be really fun for a lot of different things. So like I said, I'm going to be using this technique for math tomorrow just with some addition, but you can also use it for weather or for anything else you want to do. It's really fun and easy. So like I said, this is just a quick, more advanced technique to use with effects. 
but of course be sure to check out that All About Effects video in the video description below if you need more help with finding effects and importing them into Minicam. Let me know if you have any questions, and I hope you have a great day teaching. Happy New Year! Bye!